Thank God. <laughs> He really does love doing reviews, I promise you. He doesn't he doesn't look like it, but he's really excited in deep, deep inside. So yeah. Do you want me to so, go first, Kieran? Oh, what? <laughs> Rich, you go first. You go first. Go ahead. Uh, I was hoping Ke- Kieran will go first. Um, I'll go okay, first. good, 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 cool. good. I'll go, Kieran. I'll got it. Good, good, um, good. So I actually read some comic books, people. I read quite a few comic books. Woo-hoo! I read um, Maestro Issues 1 and 2. Ooh. And I don't know if I'm going to review it, but I did read, I think it's a one-shot of The okay. Immortal Hulk with She-Hulk. Nice. Which, that one was sick, actually. I, 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 I kind of hope it's a one-shot, but it's time I don't, because that's another one <laughs> me to buy. If she... Anyway, so Maestro, <laughs> it's Basically, like the origin of Maestro, like how he, how the Incredible Hulk came to be Maestro, and mm-hmm. it was pretty cool. It starts off with like, which almost baffled me, Hulk with like, yeah, Betty Ross. <laughs> Remember with Betty Ross, and he's got you, you, you mash up a sentinel. No, first it starts with him, you just mash up a sentinel. That confused me. I was like, what? <laughs> Where is this going? But then I clocked that he was with like. Wolverine, <laughs> Wolverine, Captain America, mm-hmm. and uh, that's actually a dope picture. Just looking at it, mm-hmm. oh, Rich just put it up. Oh, it's not, it's not on the, uh, it's not on the page. Show. It's not on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the viewers can't see it. Basically, oh, they can't oh see it. never mind. Yeah, viewers. They, that, that's there you what, go. That's the picture, and there he is, soft Wolverine, Cap, um, four. Yeah. Nice. Anyways, and then Sweet. you. you then he's at home basically with Betty, uh, Betty Ross, and they've got two kids, um, Hulk Jr. and Betty Jr. I didn't care to learn their names. <laughs> and, oh, one of them's green. One one of their names is actually Rick. It's Rick and yeah, he was named after Rick Jones, Thaddeus. Oh, so Thunderbolt Ross. There you go. So that's what it means. So he's living this happy family life, but all of a sudden, like when he's talking to Betty. She starts glitching as women do. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay, maybe she just needs a Mars bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. She starts glitching okay. up for real. Mm-hmm. And then Hulk is just baffled. Captain America shows up out of nowhere. Is like, "Hey, Hulk, buddy, what's wrong?" And he's like, "Nah, something's wrong." And he's like, "Nah, it's all good. I'm gonna put my yeah. hands. On. It's all, it's all, it's all good." <laughs> Hulk's like, "Nah, man, you're on some this crap. Where's this?" So Betty starts talking some glitchy stuff. <laughs> Basically, it's like the episode of Rick and Morty where he realizes that he's in a simulation. <laughs> oh. And then, um, dun, dun, dun. you know, four and them attack him. Anyway, later on, he wakes up in this thing. Facility. <laughs> no, like this kind of like this lab. Kind of like this lab. He's got wires and. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Things all. Actually, I actually really like this image, so I'm going to show it to you. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it's yeah. two issues here so he escapes this place because he realizes that it's false it's a fallacy mm-hmm. breaks out and there's like aim he finds out that um aim and modok um are basically running this facility that he's in and they tell him that the world has basically been destroyed there was like a nuclear um Stuff went on, okay. <laughs> and Modok was basically saying, "Look, we can survive this if you give it. If you give it like twenty some odd years, um, all the nuclear residue in the atmosphere, yeah, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll be gone. We'll be able to breathe the air, and we can kind of, we can just carry on." Mm-hmm. Hulk is like, "Nah," so he ducks out. <laughs> he leaves. He basically ends up in, ends up in Hollywood. And then um, uh-huh. at the end of the at the end of the, of the first issue, he kind of like bends um, like Hollywood and spells Hulk. So it's like yeah. he, he cemented. He's t- bear in mind, I didn't read all the Maestro stuff before. So if you're like, yeah, you did that, well, you don't know comics. I didn't read it. Mm. So, like, he, bent, he turned the Hollywood sign into like I thought this was dope. Da, 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 da. Mm. Hang on, where is it? You turn, <laughs> turn the Hollywood sign into, into a Hulk sign. And so he, that's like him saying, I'm taking Hollywood. Yeah. I, this is my territory. And mm-hmm. I thought that was, that was issue one. 
So he had no business. He he did not care. He basically didn't care to kind of help repopulate the earth and bring it back to normal because he thought they did it to themselves. Like he, I don't know if he says it. Yeah, yeah, they did it to themselves. I'm not. I, I spent basically my life with a team trying to help these people, yeah. save, mm-hmm. saving it from like Thanos's and Galacti, Galacti and mm-hmm. And by the end of it, they ended up destroying themselves anyway. So he's. I think he was thinking I should have just left you lot to it. Basically. Yeah. Um, and then issue two, he's just basically, he's just going. He's basically going around the earth, thinking he can't believe that. You know they did this to themselves. He's looking at, mm. he's looking at animals, thinking these poor things didn't even know that the food that they were eating was poison because they're obviously eating poisonous plants and mm. things that's been like got nuclear waste all over it. Yeah. Um, oh, but then he finds this kid. He sees this little boy like alive, so he kind of mm. follows him, heads on the ground, finds. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Gambit at first. I was like, oh, Gambit's alive. He's a robot now, but no, it's machine. <laughs> machine head. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I've never. Uh, he was actually part of the Avengers one, at one time. So was, so was. <laughs> so was the someone, lame, someone, lame, someone lame was a like was in the Justice League. I can't think of the top of my head, but there are okay, a lot got, of lame. We people. got we got D listers in in yeah. the mix right about now. Mm-hmm. She man's got to be like a like a Z list man. Like I don't oh, know. Wow, man said Z list. <laughs> he. I actually forgot what it was that he was telling them, so I'm going to bypass that. Um, well, let's have a look. Sorry, I've. Uh... Oops. Ooh. So, Ooh. Um, if you could... as well. <laughs> you see all the going on on our screen right now? You'll be you'll be making the same noises, people. It's very exciting. It's very, very exciting. Oh, uh, uh, Rich, Rich is moving things around. There's colours. Great. It's like Nickelodeon all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you see the kid. Uh, mm-hmm. So the kid goes into the into the basement, into like underground, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So that's what just before he meets Machine Man. Yeah. And then he meets Mister Man, and the Machine Man was telling him things. That's why I forgot. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Anyway, yeah. that place. You know what, Bunny? Do you know what? these are really cool <laughs> for an yeah. origin for an origin story of Maestro? Which did any of us ask for it? <laughs> But was, I, mean... I, love it. I don't read the Hulk as much as I would like to. I, I, I'm always thinking I should go buy a Hulk comics, but I don't. He's mm-hmm. actually one of my favorite superheroes. But whenever I do take the time to read a Hulk comic, I always enjoy it. And these two, especially because they're a mini series, they're not they're not ongoing. I love stuff like that. Yeah. So I'll definitely if I, I would I would definitely recommend people going out and getting this. It's um written written by Peter David, Peter David and the artist mm-hmm. is German P- Peralta. And the color artist is, I assume, is Jesus um, <laughs> Arabatov. <laughs> um, it's just so good. It was like I was hooked from page one. Nice. Did you like the illustration? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was hooked from page one. He punched a freaking sentinel in the face and knocked the thing <laughs> off, didn't it? Uh, Yay! I, just, I, would, I, would, I actually might read these again. I enjoyed them that much. I highly recommend Maestro's issue one or two. I'll be get. I've, Already subscribed, so I'm going to be getting the rest of them like nothing. Real, Yay! Yeah. Real mm-hmm. quick, Immortal She Hulk, yeah, was really, really good as well. She's this is basically, um, goes with you know, superheroes die all the time and they come mm-hmm. back. And what yeah. they were saying in this book is that there are certain people that are like special, and it's mm-hmm. and she thinks she thinks that she's immortal. So she goes to who does she talk to first? She talks to I forgot who it was, one second, Wolverine. Because okay. she's like, you've been, you know, sealed in adamantium. You, you, head cut off. Mm. How does he do it? And he basically tells her, we're not immortal. Death will come for us. And then someone else tells her there's something similar. I forgot who. Um, but basically, she learns she's not immortal. She goes in. She goes. She dies again at some point. <laughs> it, it, no, sorry. It shows the. I'm trying to be brief. Is why is why I'm tripping up. No, no, no. It's showing instances of when she dies. Okay. Like each time she Hulk has died, and the last time she died, like she sees um, her uncle um, Bruce Banner's dad, mm. and he's basically saying that he holds the key now to um, immortality. So, so it wasn't her actually; it was the leader. She sees her um, her uncle, and they have a conversation. Then she sees the la- the leader later, 
And it's the leader that says, no one is immortal. It's just that some of us have these keys to this door. But now I hold all the keys to the door. And you've died now, but I, but trust me, do not die again. Because the only reason I'm letting you go through the door now is because I need you not to be around. I'm working on something. So oh. I'm letting you use the door now, She-Hulk. But if you come back, you're stuck here and I'm going through. And that that was just a sick ending. That's pretty much where it ends. It was just mm-hmm. like, like Immortal She-Hulk, everybody. I think it's a one shot. Totally worth the read. Mm-hmm. Cut the thing, yeah. That's the end of my review. I'm sorry, they... I a lot. I was trying to. Be... <laughs> but, um, so I think reviews. Man. I need to. I need to catch yeah. up. Gonna... Sorry, my brother's gonna watch this and be like, "Kieran, man, I told you to use post its." <laughs> I'm doing it, right? I've got post its. I just haven't. Yeah, it, it's, it's yeah, it's hard on the run. It's hard on the run. Um, yeah, that's good, man. Uh, I think Immortal mm. Hulk, uh, Immortal She Hulk, has got something to do with Immortal mm. Hulk as well, because. There's a story like that that's mm-hmm. going on in the Mortal Hulk. I haven't actually. I think I'm like a couple of issues behind on that, but uh, there is something mm-hmm. going on where, where, like immortality and the Hulk, and there's some funkiness going on. Um, so, yeah. Man said some funkiness. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So, uh, my one was uh, Doctor Doom mm-hmm. issue seven. Um, so. Whew. This this one was yeah. pretty good. This one was pretty good. Um, so basically, right. what's happened is um, someone has uh, basically th- there was a mission on Mars, I think. Uh, was it that movie? No. <laughs> uh, basically, there was something that happened on Mars, uh, and Latveria got blamed for sending some missiles over there. It killed um, three thousand yeah. people. Uh, basically, it oh was God. a coup that was happening uh, while Doom was away. Um, so Doom has been trying mm-hmm. to clear his name in in in, in a sense. Um, so mm-hmm. basically, he went on a mission with um, with Kang the Conqueror. Uh, the last issue, huh? uh, which was a few months back, because mm-hmm. this was probably before the crime. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So he went on a mission with Kang the Conqueror to find something, um, some B list. Enemies try to <laughs> try to do something with Doom. And, <laughs> yeah, um, I forgot his name. It's the guy that's got the big eye on his head. Um, they tried to do something with, with Kang and Doom, and they just got beat straight away. Um, Doom got the box, got the suitcase, and Kang tried to double cross him, mm. uh, and mm. Doom just got rid of him. Basically, he bust him up, and what you found was the ultimate nullifier in the suitcase um now that now mm. the ultimate nullifier is a very powerful weapon um it can beat galactus it's yeah so but you have to have the right mind for it um so this issue um basically mm-hmm. sta- Ooh, that's pretty starts off mm. with um doom's sorry rich is that a guy yes that's him yeah yeah uh, what's his name mean. He was in uh, the orb. orb. That's it. Yeah, the orb. The orb. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's in my. He's in the paradise. Is it the paradise? He's in my paradise. It, X-Men paradise. Okay. Where Marvel paradise. It's a really good movie. Go, 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 so, go, go. So, so you've got <laughs> all of Doom's guys there, it's like his close, close people. You've got um, the mm. chef of staff, the chief of staff, the yeah. Doom's longest advisor, uh, the last surviving mm-hmm. monk of Doom, Doom's secretary of defense. <laughs> Um, Doom the Doctor <laughs> Ward uh, his, and his um, Cosmic Herald as well and they're like uh, there's someone in the distance and then my man just rolls up on a <laughs> on a meme uh, <laughs> 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 yeah I have returned it's the oh, yeah, rolling it's dead, it's dead, yeah. they hate it <laughs> I got my bear in the yeah, snow, this... riding dirty. That's it, man. <laughs> so Doom turns up and he's um, he's basically like he's he's basically like okay, so there's a traitor here, um, and he needs to find out who the traitor is. Um, so mm-hmm. he's ba- he basically needs to take them to task, and so he gets them all in. Well, not all in a room, but he's in his in, in his room. Mm-hmm. And he asks them mm-hmm. to come one by one to to kind of um, do the oath. 
Um, okay. So he's like, enter. And <laughs> the first one is uh, Petra, and he tells her to kneel, kneel. And then she says she swears her loyalty and all that. So he, he does that to pretty much everyone uh, just to test mm-hmm. them out. Um, but the one guy, uh, even like this, this monk, he's like, he's the, lo- he's the mm-hmm. last monk. Uh, and the reason why he's the last monk is because Doom killed every- all of the others. Wow. So he's like, <laughs> Poor monk out here. Sorry, he's <laughs> like, does a god execute your brother? Does a god execute your brother monks? He says, of course. And why? Mm. Because you killed them. It's like, mm. and, and yet you live. He said, to spread your word. To whom? To you. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's like, ah, oh, okay. Um, so then mm. this guy comes in and he's like, uh, yeah, basically, this, this, he's, he's, um, his general, he's, always been there he was with him when when doom took mm. was fighting wakanda um and different mm. other places uh and he's like okay mm-hmm. so he has been sending a letter uh to a love mm-hmm. uh, some some love person someone who's in love with he's <laughs> like there katrina i dreamed mm-hmm. of no no fence mm-hmm. between our homes where we could be together again soon with ease I long for a simple chair, a porch, and you, my love, and so on, and so on. It goes on like this, quite <laughs> I have left the door open. All you must do is step inside so that we may embrace through the ends of our days. Love, basically. He's like, oh, it's just a silly letter. He says, a love letter intercepted by his spies. Um, and basically, it's a spy letter. So he's sending out um, some signals so he tries to he, and mm. doom says to him look i'll give you three minutes two minutes to to start running so the guy, mm. <laughs> the guy starts gussing, gussing, gussing <laughs> uh, and then doom just bops out gets his rifle and then bam <laughs> oh bless his little oh there's a bear eating him <laughs> yeah. lol so, lol yeah. <laughs> So this this is the this is one reason why I love Doom as well, man. So this next one is like the guy's in a wheelchair, and the guy and Doom's just like, you know, come, you know, you, you gotta show me some love, man. You forgot to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you sounded like Kanye right about that. This is not. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so yeah, the guy. But I'm dying. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, get on those yeah. knees. So yeah, he accepts his oath. Um, so yeah, this this one it just just I've I've loved it so much because it just kind of brings doom out. Has has everyone loves him to be pretty much like a hard boss. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so it ends where the guy who's actually taken over um, uh, Latveria. Uh, mm-hmm. Doom actually turns up to his to the castle, um, <laughs> and so he turns up to the castle, and the guy's <laughs> sleeping, and <laughs> and Doom just turns up and <laughs> like, um, calls his name. It's like, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, can't sleep. <laughs> it's like, uh, of an, Latveria, <laughs> an impressive title. You must carry it with dignity. Um, Stand up straight, your king, after all, uh, and hold your head high. He who reigns, look down on those who don't. Mm. But something's missing. <laughs> yes, a true leader of Latveria must have a broken <laughs> neck. No, <I'm> <laughs> no nearly. Uh, I knew he was going to do that. Yeah. Giving the mask, in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, if you don't know. Um, Doom's face is scarred up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My father's knife. My father chased <laughs> by your family into frozen fields where he died, clutching me in his arms. And the Varian ruler must cause pain and bear pain. Do it. <laughs> and so it, it, he has to scar, scar his face, basically. 
Uh, people were dumb. Yeah. But he's, he's they were in, boy. Of, he's scared mm. of Doom. So he... Yeah, he's scared Doom's going to kill him, but I'm assuming he kills him anyway, well, right? Because he's going to let him live with Latveria his past. must be a god. A god must mm. soar through the heavens. Can you fly? <laughs> 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 Poor See, people Poor are dumb. Like, uh, I love this. I love this. If, I prefer to, if, if I were in that situation, mm. you're going to kill me anyway. I am not then going to like scar my face. Just see what you're going to do. Toss yeah, me over. Let me ask you this question. If that was you, would you even attempt to take over Doom? In love. Oh, no, no, no. no I ain't. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Nah. <laughs> no, no way, I'm not, not doing that. No, I'm going to 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 mess with Doc Doom. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Unless Silver Surfer's my friend and I can bring him. No, <laughs> yeah. we're not doing that for yeah. We're not doing that. So, so yeah. yeah, that was yeah. Um, Doom issue seven. Um, loved it. Nice. Loved it, loved it. Yeah, like, artwork's it. really good as well. Like, yeah. obviously, artwork's brilliant, but yeah, it was gorgeous. Woo! Very nice, very nice. It's so approved, man. Force will yeah. approve. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Last review. The Brave New World is a new series out. Um, I can't remember what it's out on. I saw it Brave on Now TV, World. but it's, it's not on Netflix. But anyway. Sorry. No, that's no, okay. So anyway, <laughs> basically, um, the concept is the. It's called New London. London has been transformed into a utopia of um, heightened technology <laughs> and um, no privacy in terms of everybody's interconnected um, and they do this via in, is it Ingrid. It, no, <laughs> is it Ingrid? Not Ingrid. It's some. It's some. It's some name. Um, Siri. Begin with, begin with something like that. Siri. I'm just going to call it Siri for now. And then... <laughs> no, Alexa. Alexa. Call it Alexa. No, okay, let's call it Alexa. So obviously, you put the contact lens in your eye, which is Alexa, and everybody gets to see, you know, who you are. They get to see through your eyes. You get to see through everybody else's. But obviously, in every society, there are top, middle, and bottom tiers. Um, so you've got the people who just clean up and make, you know, make food and serve. And then you've got betas, which are basically pleasure buddies. And they're men or women, like they're just there for heightened pleasure. And then you've got alphas. And alphas, you know, I mean, they're usually in charge of stuff and whatever. Da, 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 da. So everybody's in this utopia. There are three rules to the utopia. There is no privacy. You're not allowed to be monogamous. And, and another one about connectivity. So, yeah, so we've got this new London and everybody's there. And obviously, you know, if there's no privacy, everybody's fucking. Everybody's fucking everybody else because there's no monogamy. So, <laughs> about like, AIDS? Do they still have AIDS? Um, they didn't touch on that, but I'm assuming well, no, because they're so well advanced that, you know, they don't, nobody has any sexually transmitted diseases because they're all genetically made in um, a certain way. So, yes. So you've got that. And then, um, so they have like pleasure palaces where people go to have a visceral experience of connectivity, aka sex, but they don't have any of the emotional baggage around it. And they have these things called, oh, they, they look like, um, they basically look like shiny Tic Tacs, but they're basically, <laughs> they're emotion suppressors. So anytime something happens, like, I don't know, um, someone's talking to somebody and you feel a bit anxious, you pop a pill, and it just makes you feel better again. So, you know why that's so, funny? Sorry, because you know in London, we'll be like, can you imagine, like, you're, you're, in, you're in something, so oh, it's getting emotional, yeah, man, it's getting yeah, emotional. Yeah. You pop them pills. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what they that's do. how we it's, talk. Yeah, it's emotional, man. <laughs> yeah, and it's weird, because, like, the sound of them popping the pills, like, it's, it's mad, because, like, um, later on during, like, the, you know, the season, obviously things go a bit mad, but, like, and there's like scenes where like all of them are a little bit stressed and all you can hear is click, 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 click. Like it's just like, you can just see them like popping. And I'm like, right, are we, is this where we're going? But anyway, so that's that. So there's in New London, there's this woman called Wania. Her name's Leanne. 
Leanne. No, Je- is it Jessica? No, it's Leanne. And then there's a guy called John and some of you. But anyway, I'm going to get to that. So that's that. And then um, on the other side, somewhere in the United States of America, there's the Savage Lands where everybody isn't interconnected and everybody lives like a normal human being, but they have created a theme park for the Sorry. people in New London mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> to come and experience what it's like to be a savage, Free. a.k.a. a human yeah. being. Just to let you know, yeah, just to let you know, no black people, okay, in savage lands, is that, okay? Is they're not, like they're not... The series? Did, did they <laughs> mention that? Or you just don't see it in... The... Well, no, no, I mean, as in, like, they were smart enough to be like, to we're calling this the savage people. lands, oh, okay. yeah? So there's no, there's no, like black people that we're calling savages right. they were out because the minute they said savage land you know me i was like yeah. Yeah, what are you yeah. in? like so but it's it's good because everything is in terms of it's terms of equal um across the board so everybody in new new england or new london whatever if you're an alpha there's loads of different people who are alpha mm. so you've got mm. black people white people you know what i mean but and then um betas and then gammas and then basically so it's 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 level across yeah, the board yeah. basically so as well but in the savage land is more like they've kind of leaned more towards not hillbilly but like that kind of quote unquote you know growing up american but poor yeah, basically yeah. you know what i mean like trailer kind of people um but anyway like obviously it's like there's stuff in you know new london that's happening and then you know, obviously, two star-crossed lovers don't, you know, one, from, a guy from the Savage Lands and a girl from, you know, New London, they end up meeting on some madness. And the guy who's typically a savage comes to New England and he just basically starts to, not intentionally, but he starts to kind of unravel society as it is kind of thing. And, you know, little by little, pieces start to drop off people who didn't think about anything um in terms of tears or status are now starting to think about certain things and but because there was like a there's like a virus and people assumed that the savage guy was the virus but it was something else but i'm not gonna tell you what it is because you gotta go watch it Sean, Sean's asking, so is there a tribal land <laughs> I mean, yeah, so the Savage <laughs> Land is basically the tribal yeah. land, but it does have nothing to do with us, the okay? Rodman, just, they were smart um, on this. This is called uh, Brave New World. Um, yes. So, uh, what did you say it was on? Um, I saw it on Now TV, but I don't actually know what TV sh- t- channel it is. Like, I'm, I'm very confused. Oh, okay. um, but it, there's a link probably somewhere so you can get, you know, you can have a watch. But, like... Yes, it should, it should be on like Now TV. It should be on like a streaming service oh, like Sky. I don't, it's my, Sky. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sky. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So there's a link for that. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, it's a, it's a good TV show. Like, again, like, because obviously a lot of, <laughs> obviously in like the Britain, um, New England, like, you know, the emphasis is that everybody's open and everybody has to like more or less have sex with other people. And it's just like, so obviously there's a lot of fucking in it, yeah. which is fine. But like, it's just like, it, it, it at points it, you were like, are we going to get to the story or is we just going to watch these people having sex? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You're just like... You know are we going to get to like... the story? Like, I could just be watching porn on right now. Like, yeah, I'm literally. Watching... I'm just like, what are we doing? Like, I did not subscribe to Pornhub. I'm literally watching Brave New World. So, there's, like, it's... <laughs> there's quite a lot of um, stars in there, actually. Quite yeah, there's... Of, the, um, uh, Demi, Demi Moore, Moore's yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. Demi Moore. I haven't seen her in time. What does she look like now? Is she old yet? Yeah. She's got... She is, but she's 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 aging gracefully. And she was in sorry, side note, she was in Savage Savage Fenty, um, the um lingerie yeah, show recently. Oh, okay. So do you wanna see her in that? You know? Uh, on... uh, Olden Enric. <laughs> well, I don't know if she's old yet. <laughs> Olden Enric, who played um, Solo, Han Solo, is in it as well. Oh yeah, him, yeah. yes. That's that's the guy, that's the main that's he's the savage. Okay. He's a savage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, 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 even seen, no, no. You haven't even seen uh, Solo. Anyway. Harrison Ford played Har- played Han Solo. So what are you talking about? <laughs> the young Han Solo is now playing a savage in Brave New World, okay? And young he's... Han Solo? You mean Harrison Ford from Star Wars, the first movie? <laughs> okay, that's what we're going to do. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> 
but yeah, no, it's a it's a good it's a good it's a good little TV show. It's only the first season. It ends well, you know. It doesn't skimp on obviously like the graphics, and it does get gory and stuff like that, which you know I love. So I'm great. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's really good. If you get a chance to watch it, yeah, for uh, it's about four four geeks. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Well done. Well I'd also done. like to point out that mm-hmm. both Rich and I are wearing Wu Tang hoodies. I know. Kept, See, kept down the low. <laughs> See, the, these two are brothers, brothers, it, just brothers. They're fraternal twin brothers. Not, you know, uh, we can't make this. We're not sponsored by Wu Tang, <laughs> but um, we would definitely love to. Be. You know, we, we would, would love, love to be. To be. I Meth, would very much ghost, like to be. Ray, yes, come on. Riz, Jizza, come on. I like your boys, man. We've been protecting them next from like <laughs> three. Man, they're protecting the neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want the cream. Yeah, Dollar done the feel. Okay. That's what we want. <laughs> All right.